Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I did this Valentine's look and what I have on is a little soft pink in the inner corner and a little metallic gold and a brown on the outer corner with a, a glossy pink lip. So it's kind of a flirty look for Valentine's. So let's get started. Starting with a transition color from Smashbox palette, apply to the crease and blend in a circular motion. Next, I'm using this palette that I got from Generation Beauty's Sway Bag called Fuego. Apply this gorgeous soft pink to the inner corner and sweep towards the middle of the lids. Now from the same palette, I'm using this brown color on the outer corner to give a soft, flirty effect and blend upwards, concentrating in a V shape and sweeping over into the crease or socket of the eyeball. This is my first time using this palette and I'm pretty impressed by the pigmentation and how well the product blends. And also love the color choices from neutral to pop vibrant colors. Then taking the shimmery eyeshadow, dab into the middle and blend the edge together. So I decided I wanted this pink to pop up so I'm going back in to add more into the inner corners. Next is the eyeliner and mascara then apply false lashes. For lashes, I'm using my favorite eye opener, Goddess by Coco Lashes. So before doing the bottom of my eyes, I usually do my foundation and concealer routine. So I did that off camera, so moving on to the bottom eyes, I'm using this dark brown by Smashbox and just lining the bottom lower lashes and then applying mascara and going back in with this shimmery color and applying that to the tear ducts of my eyes. Moving on to highlighting, I'm using my new favorite fan brush by Luxie to apply Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood to my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. And don't forget to set your face with a setting spray so it'll last all night. So as for my lips, I'm using a warm pink color called Edge to Edge by MAC to outline my lips and shade in halfway. So you can leave it matte like this or you can put a little gloss on it just so that your lip looks a little bit more plump. Um, so I'm going to take MAC Lip Line Lip Gloss in A34 Pink and I'm just going to dab them right in the middle, the center of my lips. Next for my hair, I'm straightening the top half only and I'll add in loose curls on the bottom for a romantic look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This completes my look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up on this video, um, subscribe to my channel, also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also on Snapchat, so bye!